All right, so it's time to go thrifting again. I'm at the Valley Village near my house. Uh, last couple times I've been here, there hasn't been much. So I'm hopeful that today uh, there will be. I'm really looking for like mixed bags of Lego, like big bags. I've been passing on them recently, but I've been doing some research and some Lego minifigures are so expensive. So I got to start picking up as much Lego as I can, selling off the bulk and keeping the minifigures. That's one of my new missions on the channel. Uh, also, I'm always looking for cool stuff to shoot videos on. So let's check it out. Well, here we go. Looks like they got the Halloween section all set up, so that should be sweet. Got a donation bag as well, so. Save some money. Oh my God, I had this TV back in the day. That's hilarious. <laughs> Submit a new ticket yeah. and that's on pilot. Well, can you um, do one for the door? Oh my god. Look at all this. Alright, Gary, you got me. I have been looking for some of these for so long. Which one? Okay, so you know I do videos on all this stuff, right? I, do. I did a video on that one before. So can I see the triceratops? No, she can't. Can I see the bat? The big dragon on the bottom. This one? Yep. And the monkey faced one, the 24 9. Nope, beside it, right there, yeah. Still coming, don't worry. Save me having to do a friggin' eBay. I ordered one August 26th. I can't believe you have all that Mighty Max. Alright, sounds good. That was absolutely insanity. I got four Mighty Max sets I don't have, and they're all with figures. So good. There's so much stuff here today. Thankfully, I have a coupon. I can't believe somebody donated all that Mighty Max. My brain is like in shock. No extreme, no, no real board game that one. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? What are you buying? All the cards? Well, all these are from the 60s. Right? Oh. Yeah, there might be some good ones in there. Well, mine. I know a reasonably price, $3.99. Yeah, not bad. Oh, that's cool. Big Ewok. What happened to you? This is a squinkies, yep. I can't believe I'm like still so glad I popped in today. Oh, Gary, I like that. So, oh, maybe there's some more stuffies here I can grab. That's good. Those two are good. 
I keep dropping them. Off on a shelf. Mm, I don't really know. I'm not gonna get two stuffed animals just for two. Is there any up there? Gary's cool, but I don't want one. I think we have that one anyway. That keeps moving down. That went from 19 down to uh, 699. Almost missed this. This is the Batman. I've been seeing Batman forever. It's missing all the pieces. So it's just a shell, but it's still pretty cool to see in the wild. worth a couple bucks. The old Fisher Price one that doesn't work. The mechanism is broken. That would be really cool if it wasn't. 101 Dalmatians. Got the Mighty Max, which is going to be a lot. It's going to be a hundred bucks. That's a cool old clock radio right there. Find one of the translucent phones from back in the day. Nothing yet, though. It's an Xbox 360 cable. Sesame Street cookie cutter. Tupperware pickle strainer. Sold it a few times. Looks a little bit dirty though. <laughs> oh. I 
bananas in pajamas? That's pretty cool. And another Fisher Price wooden puzzle. Occupations, that's an old one. Too much, $9.99 though. Those are really cool. I'd like to see what those are worth. I'm not gonna get them, but. This is Garfield. It's so ridiculous. It's hand painted. Need somebody made that. Uh, nothing here for me. I'm so happy I found those mighty nice sets. Hmm, that's convenient. They're like old school stickers. I want to look at it. from back in the day. Supposed to play music. That's an old little pet shop set. Fake balloon animal. That's an older Barbie. Hmm. I was really hoping there'd be more Lego here. This is an old carnival stuffed animal. That's really neat. Only a dollar ninety nine. Yeah, squishmallow. Hmm. I guess it's just going to be the Mighty Max today. Which is really not that bad. You could go here for 10 years straight and never see a Mighty Max. Here's the clock. There's also some Power Rangers accessories in here. And some spy gear. This, my daughter would be all over this. Everly would be like, just wanting that just cause. Scooby Doo stuff. Oops. Spirit. Hmm. 
don't really have that many toy bags today, which is kind of a bummer. All the goodies are up in the display bin. All right. That's it. Although I've been having a lot of cooking in these bins recently. This is all the play food. Here's some old school Fisher Price sounds that'll bring you back to being a kid. I need to see one more just for to make sure I don't miss it. Mm -hmm. the, it's in between the two big ones right there. Yep. Okay, yeah, so it's missing one of them. Okay. So good. So many good Mighty Max toys here. Kind of making sure I don't miss anything. Okay, so that is probably one of the best thrift trips I've ever had it. Although I didn't buy anything other than these Mighty Max sets. I got them all for about a hundred bucks. And uh, this Triceratops one's worth 70 and the rest of them are worth about 40 each. Uh, but I've been looking at buying these to do short videos and they have all their pieces. So I'll do better uh, look at them when I get home. Just kind of show you everything, and make sure they're all there. But this was awesome. More 90s Mighty Max nostalgia. This is 1992's Max defeats the Vamp Biter, and it's a vampire bat theme playset. Look at the front of this one, how much detail there is. The nose, the teeth, the eyes. And when you open it up inside, this is actually the big bad guy of the set. It's Nightwing, the vampire bat. And then obviously it came with a Max figure as well. And then inside, you can see there's a castle theme up here. Look at the detail. And then on the bottom, there's like a pool of blood with some baby bats, I guess. There's a spot for Max to stand right there. And the cool thing about the Nightwing figure is it's got a clip on the back of his feet. You just clip in right here. And when you close it up, that's how it becomes the ears of the vampire bat. Let me know if you remember this one. Another classic Mighty Max set from the 90s. This is 1993's Max Blows Up the Dino Lab. Now look at the Triceratops outer part. It's got horns, all the different colors. And then to open it up, you just open here. Let's have a better look. It is all opened up. Now it came with four figures. This is Professor Zygote. Obviously it came with Max as well. And two dinosaurs, a pterodactyl and a raptor. And then inside this, there's a lot going on. There's a pen right here where you can trap Max or the raptor. Then there's a lab. You can see there's a hand reaching up on the walkway there. There's a bunch of lizards all over the place, some ladders. And then the volcano opens up and there's a little turret area where you can stand Max and it will spin around too, which is kind of cool. Uh, to close it up, just put that down and you'll see what the really cool part about this is. The dinosaurs actually become the horns of the Triceratops on the outside. So you put the pterodactyl there and then the raptor in here and then close it up. And there you go. There's the Triceratops horns. Check out this Mighty Max set from 1993. This is Max Tangles with Lockjaw. Just look at the detail on the front of this. There's a giant lock hanging off the side of his face. To open it up, you can see you've got Max in here, this iconic red hat. Then on the top floor, you've got some farm equipment and some hay. And then right here, you've got the big bat of the set trying to break out of this coffin. And that is Big Red the Lumberjack. His face looks exactly like the front of the playset itself. Then to set it up, just put him like this and put Max here. And that's how it's supposed to look. 
Looks like he's attacking him with the axe. Now that's a cool playset. Let me know if this one unlocks a memory for you. To close it up, just put Big Red back in there and lock him back up and close it. And you can see the axe coming out of the front of the face there. Going with another 90s Mighty Max set. This is 1992's Max Battles with Skull Warrior. As you can see, it's like a futuristic evil cyborg. When you open it up, it came with the Skull Warrior villain figure right here. And you've got your Max figure as well. Then on the inside, you can see some cyborg parts on the ground, a couple of mechanical parts. This part actually pops out and becomes a vehicle for Max or the Skull Warrior to ride on. It's called the Space Surfer. Just kind of neat. In the cartoon, he used this to defeat the villain. Then to put this one through, put it back, you just push it in. There's a little tab there to connect it. Skull Warrior goes right here. And then Max can go anywhere. You can put him in the tabs if you want, or just like this. And you can see part of the Space Surfer points out and it becomes his eye. Let me know if you had this one in your collection.